What's up guys? My name is Natalie M. Rossi. I'm also known as Miss Hatton across all social media platforms. And today I have some exciting news. I got to test out the new Canon R50 and the R8. So I'm gonna start talking about the R50. I just feel like it's such a great beginner's camera that it, it literally blew my mind. It's so lightweight and the functionality of this camera is pretty amazing. I got to do some street photography, also vlogged along the way. I wanted to test out the video mode, which was pretty incredible. Um, and I shot some portraits of, of our model Dave. So if you're familiar with the M50, the R50 is very similar, but it also has the RF mount. Now that means that you can have so many different lens options. And if you ever want to upgrade along the way throughout your photography journey, you can. So you are getting that amazing sensor that the R10 has, but you're also getting much more than that. You're getting the autofocus. You're getting all of these in-camera features that not all cameras have. The R50 has 24.2 megapixels, which is great if you love printing your photos, if you wanna have great resolutions, and when you post-processing just makes it that much easier. You have so much more flexibility with your colors and where you wanna go with the image. One of my favorite features on this camera is the autofocus. Even though this is an entry-level camera, it still uses the same autofocus system as the advanced cameras that Canon offers. The autofocus is able to detect people, um, animals, cars, planes. It's pretty amazing. I was able to actually shoot through a car window and it, it detected the eye of a person that I was photographing. So that's something that I really, really love about this camera and I just can't believe that it's an entry level camera. So of course I started photographing people and then I saw pets, I saw dogs and I wanted to change um, the autofocus to detect animals. Um, I took a portrait of this, this dog at, Madison, at Washington Square Park, excuse me, and it was amazing how it just detected the eyes of the dog. Um, and then with that, we saw a man with all of these pigeons around him. I wanted to um, shoot the pigeons and it detected the eyes of the pigeons. So safe to say that the autofocusing on this camera is incredible. It is so clutch that this camera has an EVF. I can't tell you how important that is and how nice it is to actually shoot and look into the camera and see real time what your colors and, and brightness looks like. Um, sometimes when it's too sunny outside, you know, the LCD can be a little hard to see. Um, this way you can look at the EVF, you have different options and you'll be able to get that perfect shot. Now don't get me wrong, I love the LCD on this camera. You're able to flip it, rotate it, you can fully rotate it so you can look at yourself and vlog as you go, you can see the image and as you vlog, it also has the eye detection so you're, you know that you're in focus. Now this may be a small and lightweight camera, but it can handle a lot, like 4K video at 30 frames per second. It's not just any 4K, it's oversampled 6K video. Now if you're into shooting slow motion, you can do that with this camera. It has full HD at 120 frames per second and it's uncropped. Now for those of you just starting out with your photography journey, this camera has A plus mode with creative assist. What does that mean? It means it makes it much easier for you to just go out and shoot. A plus mode allows for adjustments for the background blur, the brightness, and the high dynamic range images. And of course, you're able to transfer your images directly to your smartphone device, wirelessly or with the wire. For all you live streamers out there, this camera also has a UVA and UVC, which means you can connect your camera to your computer with a USB-C cord and live stream. If you're thinking about getting into mirrorless or an RF system, this is a great camera to start with. It has so many different functionalities that make it so user-friendly for you to go out and just shoot and have a good time. For those of you looking to get a little bit more reach, Canon is introducing the RFS 55-210 to lens. I love taking candid street photography and this lens lets me do just that in a discreet fashion. Why? Because it has so much reach. I, I'm able to be so further back from my subject that they can't even detect that I'm taking their photo. Now the R50 is a crop sensor and it's great, but Canon is also releasing a full frame camera, the R8. 
If you're looking to get into a full frame mirrorless, the R8 is a great starting point. It's compact and it's lightweight. You can take it absolutely everywhere and it's super easy and intuitive to use. With the R8, you're getting great image quality with a 24.2 megapixel image sensor. And with that, you get the RF autofocusing technology. So all of that is in this camera. Today, I was able to take some portraits of Dave, and I was really amazed with how the autofocus was able to detect him no matter where I was moving the camera. If there was another object, like for instance, a tree or a branch or you know flowers, I was able to kind of shoot through that and focus precisely on Dave's eye. Now, if you're shooting something with a lot of movement and you're afraid you're gonna miss that shot, you won't with this camera. It has 40 frames per second electronical shutter and it also has six frame per second mechanical. Now, the R8 has the same autofocusing system as the R6 Mark II. You're able to not only use eye detection, but you can select which eye you wanna focus on. Is it the right eye? Is it the left eye? The choice is yours. Now, if there's more than one person in your frame, you're able to select which person to focus on. Now, this camera is also great for videos. It has a 4K resolution that oversamples from 6K video. And that 4K can be 60 frames per second without a crop. I was even able to get some shots shooting at 180 in full HD. So I was able to get the, that clean, slow motion shot of Dave walking down the alley perfectly. But my favorite thing had to be that it, I, as I was filming him, I still saw the autofocus detect his eye as he was getting closer to me in slow motion. Now, I didn't get to test this out today, but this camera can do 10-bit 422, Canon Log 3, and HDRPQ. Now, the R8 doesn't have in-body image stabilization. However, it does have movie digital IS. You could also pair it with a, a lens that has image stabilization. This way you have even smoother footage. Along with the R8 announcement, Canon is also releasing a 24 to 50 standard lens that I got to shoot with today. Now, what I love about this lens is that it's small, lightweight, and compact. After reviewing some images I took of Dave today, I was pretty blown away by how crispy each image was, being that this is just a standard lens. If you're looking to get into mirrorless cameras, you have two great options here from Canon, the R8 and the R50. Now, if you have any questions about the specs, please hit the link below. And if you have any questions for me, please drop a comment. I would love to answer you and let you know about my experience shooting with the R8 and the R50. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.